I had to make up my mind, do you want to live or do you want to die, Susan? There's no in between. I wanted to live. She was brought up in the middle class in the middle of America. She earned two college degrees and had a job as a nurse. Susan thought she had ticked all the right boxes for a happy life. But then came a back injury, followed by an all too familiar story. Prescription painkillers that turned into an addiction threatening to kill more than just her pain. It just starts to spiral and it continues to spiral until you have no idea how you got into the middle of this humongous typhoon. As her addiction worsened, so did her desperation. Susan began stealing prescription drugs from the hospital where she worked and from her own mother. When pills became harder to find, she started snorting heroin. Susan's family talked her into getting help at a residential treatment center in Florida. She went, but it didn't take. In time, she lost her job and was arrested for felony drug possession. Susan knew her life was circling the drain. But then a friend reminded her about a mutual friend from high school who ran a successful addiction treatment clinic. That friend was Arturo Taka, and the clinic was in Synergy a St. Louis-based program specializing in personalized, medically-based, innovative treatment for drug and alcohol addiction. When she came in, you had no idea what to expect, but she was not the person you knew. No, 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 no. No, she, she looked terrible. Was this shocking to you, even though this is your field? Oh, shocking because I, I knew how she was just uh, so fun to be around, vivacious and full of energy and full of life. Not the person who walked into your office all those Not years that. later. Not that day. I was sitting in a chair just shaking and my legs were jittering and he knelt down in front of me and he said, Sue, a lot of people have come through these doors to get help, but out of everyone, you have surprised me the most. It reminds me, it doesn't matter how educated you are, what your color of skin is, if you're a boy, if you're a girl, a substance abuse problem, it will take everything in your life. Dr. Taka first treated Susan with a nerve stimulation device used to alleviate the side effects of withdrawal. A few days later, she began receiving Vivitrol, a monthly injection that blocks drug and alcohol cravings giving her the relief she needed to allow talk therapy to help her finally reach sobriety. How typical would you say her case is? Very typical. Her success is hers. In Synergy is here to help patients, but each and every one of our patients has to do the work and we are just here to hold them up. The analogy I like to use is that our patients have broken legs and we're just the crutches to help them walk. Everybody there is amazing. Completely life-changing. I wouldn't be here, and I'm, I'm just beyond grateful. For more information about InSynergy, including a no-obligation free individual assessment, go to InSynergySTL.com. Reporting for InSynergy, I'm Paul Shankman, StorySmart Video News. <laughs>